Hi, my name is Stuart Lynch, and this video is another in the series of videos supporting the case for enums. I'll leave a link to the others in the description below. In this video, I'm going to make the case for using enums when you want an option to present one of many different modal sheets on the same view in SwiftUI. If this is something you want to learn, then keep watching. Sometimes in a project you have a number of buttons on a view, and each one can present a different sheet view. The problem arises when you try to have multiple sheet modifiers within a single view. I've created a starter project for this video, and you can download it from the link in the notes below. I'm using Xcode 12, but all of the code will work in Xcode 11 with a few modifications, and I'll make a note of that as I go along. It's a very simple project that has three buttons in a vStack. Each button has an action that is currently empty, but when tapped, I want to present a modal sheet that will simply be a view of the corresponding color. Just to make the UI more visual, I've created a custom button style here, but that's not relevant to the video, so if you want, you can remove the button style from the buttons. I'm first going to show you how I would first approach this and then replace it with a much more elegant way that was brought to my attention by Malin Sundberg, an iOS developer from Sweden, currently working in my hometown of Vancouver. And you can follow Malin on Twitter. So let me start with how I might have approached this in the past. If there were only a single view, then I'd create an at state variable, and I'll call it is presented, and I'll initialize it as false. And then, as the action for my button, I'll just set it to true, so I could initiate a sheet. Now in Xcode 12, we no longer need to specify self within these closures, but in Xcode 11, you'd have to. Now with that in place, I can add the sheet function to my vStack using the isPresented parameter to pass in my state variable of the same name, and then I can present the red color view, ignoring the safe area. So ignore safe area, that's new in Xcode 12, in Xcode 11, you'd have to use edges ignoring safe area all. This works for a single sheet, but what if I want to do the same for each of the other two buttons? The most logical choice would be just to place another sheet modifier below the existing one, since it is possible to chain multiple modifiers as we please. Unfortunately, this does not work. In order for us to be able to use multiple sheets, each modifier has to be applied to the button directly. Using two or more consecutive sheet modifiers doesn't work in SwiftUI. Only the last sheet modifier will be applied and can be used. So I could create a unique state variable for each one of my buttons and move this sheet modifier up so it's attached to the button and then create equivalent ones for the other two buttons. But our code would get really messy really quickly. So what did I do before I read Marin's post? I created an enum that I could use to determine which view I wanted to display. I'll call it target, and I'll give it three cases, red, green, and yellow. Those correspond to the three views that I want to present. Now I'll create a new state variable called selected target, which will be an optional target, and I'll set it to nil. For each of my actions, I want to set the selected target to the corresponding enum value before setting is presented to true. So let me just copy and paste this one for the red button to the other buttons and change the enum value as required. Now in my sheet function, in Xcode 12, I can use a switch statement on selected target to present the correct view. In Xcode 11, you can't use a switch statement here, so you'd have to use a set of if-else statements instead. Since selected target is optional, I can use the default case to cover that and then just return an empty view. And since we're always assigning a value to selected target, it should never be nil, so this empty view will never get presented. Let's test. When I tap the red view button, I get an empty view. This is a bug in Xcode 12 that hopefully is fixed by the time you view this video. There is no way that this should be happening, and I've reported it. Subsequent taps work, however. 
I did test this solution in Xcode 11, and it works flawlessly. But the good news here is that the solution that Marin suggests does work in Xcode 12, as you'll see. I'm going to cut out this sheet function that uses the isPresented parameter and replace it with the one that uses item instead. Now, item requires a binding to something identifiable. And then that value can be used to create the switch statement, removing the call to is presented entirely. So we've got our target, so let's make it identifiable. Doing so, however, creates an error that it does not conform to the identifiable protocol. It requires an ID. Well, I can't add a stored property to an enum, but we can make this a computed property. And the simplest thing to do is to use the raw value of each case. So if we specify that the raw values of this enum are ints, then the raw value for each of these cases will be 0, 1, and 2. These are unique, so for our ID, we can just return the raw value. With that in place, we now have everything we need to complete our sheet function. We bind the item to select a target, and I notice that the trailing content closure is expecting an argument of the same type. So I'll call it selected target and then use it in my switch statement. Notice that this local selected target is not optional. So I don't have to worry about covering the nil case, just the case for red, green, and yellow, as we did previously. Now there's no need for is presented, so I can remove it from everywhere. I'll test this again, and this time, even in Xcode 12, it's working as designed. I know that from now on, I'm going to use this application of enums going forward. Before I close, I want to emphasize that this idea is not mine. It's one that I learned from one of the Swift community who generously shared her ideas on Twitter. So if you aren't on Twitter, I suggest that you do get on and start following others and retweet valuable concepts and ideas that are posted by others. I have lots of other videos available and in the queue as well, so please check out the rest of my channel. You can also visit my website to see the apps that I have available on the App Store and visit my GitHub page to see what I have available as public repositories. If you like what you've seen, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And ring the bell to get notified when I post new videos. I'm most active on Twitter, so please follow me there as well to find out what else I'm up to. Thanks for watching.